Hey guys, Jamie and today on Roblox we're playing some more Lumion Legacy as you can see on the screen right now. This has been a pretty requested video, plus if you ever go to my live streams when I play Lumion Legacy, you can definitely tell that I get a lot of people asking me, hey, what do I train my Lumion in? What's the best way to train it in? Uh, obviously if you don't know what training points are or TP, um, I would definitely recommend go watching one of the previous videos that I did, but pretty much um, people, you can train your training points and you can raise your unique points with um, the corrupted shards that you can get by defeating corrupted Lumians, but you can train your training points uh, up also to raise your stats. I've done a video on explaining training points if you're going to watch that out. This video is just going to be explaining what you want to train your Lumians in and specifically what personalities they will want to have. So in this video, I'm not going to go over movesets, that'll be for a different video. I'm not going to talk about hidden abilities or secret abilities, although I will mention that if uh, their hidden ability will probably require a different training method, I will mention it in this video, but for those two specific things I'll talk about them in a different video in the future. Anyway, let's jump into it, so I've actually organised my first box um, with the Luminix order. Also I should mention I'm only going to be talking about the final evolutions of every single Lumion. Also, get close in here because Gecko doesn't evolve yet, and I get asked quite a lot about Gecko. Personally, I would recommend to hold off on Gecko until it evolves, because also its stats can change drastically. I mean, we've seen from the starters that, for example, um, Vambat was the quickest. Vambat no longer is the quickest when it's fully evolved. It's actually Zulong, so I would hold off for Gecko. But in case PE still want to use the Gecko, I'll go over it still anyway. But like I said, for example, if people want to use like Trope, uh, in this video, I'm not going to talk about this specific. Lumion stats or any of the preforms, you can figure out that yourself. It's not that difficult once you get the hang of it, really. Really quick, though, I will say usually, if you want to train points or if you're not really that interested in watching the entire video um, and you just want the basics, mostly, or most of the time, like usually a lot of the time, the best two stats on your Lumion, for example, like for example, C9 is like attack and defense. Those are the stats that you want to EV train it in, or TP train it in. Also, it's a little bit different, it doesn't work all the time, and C9 is actually a pretty good example of that. Also, also I should mention, the stats that I have on these specific Lumions in this PC box are all trash. I wouldn't really recommend going after these ones. I think only my Dusk is actually really good. So, yeah, that one's only trained. So, these ones are just random ones, because I leveled them up as quickly as I could to actually try and get uh, the Every Evolution video out. So, yeah, anyway, let's hop into it now. So, let's start off with Seer Knights. Um, for the personality, I would recommend... It, there's a, either two ways. You can go a, you can go tanky offensive, or you can go a full tank. So, for that, you can either have the um, attack personality, or one of the defenses. Also, I should mention as well, energy is uh, pretty important. If your energy, energy is decreased, I personally wouldn't recommend using it pretty much if your energy is decreased it means that you're gonna have to rest and wait more which means you're giving your opponents an additional move to use against you so i wouldn't recommend using decreasing en energies so for the night low i would recommend the attack or one of the defenses to be raised Dep depending on if you're on tanky or offensive so for the offensive set obviously it's not that quick so i wouldn't really recommend putting it in speeds um, unless there is an item that raises speed, then maybe sure that's the only example that I would recommend. But for C and I, I would recommend health and attack. Obviously, for TPs, you can have 200 in two stats, and then you can have 100 in the remainder slot. So for C and I, I would recommend health 200, attack 200, and then defense. That's for the uh, offensive one. For the defensive one, I would recommend probably health 200 maxed out, and then maybe um, special defense or range defense and the remainder 100 you could put into attack if you want a little bit more offensive or defense if you want again a little bit more tank but looking at the base stats as you can see um, the special defense or the range defense is very low in considered to its physical defense so you don't really need to boost the physical defense that much um, you want to try and boost its special defense a little bit more so it's not weak to special attacks, obviously. So that's pretty much it for C Knight. Let's move on to Luminami. Okay, then, so for Luminami, Luminami is honestly one of probably the most versatile Lumines that we currently have right now. Honestly, 
for the uh, personality, I would recommend attack, defense, special attack, and defense. The only one that I really wouldn't is speed again. If Unless there's an item that can raise speeds, that is the only time I would recommend speed on Luminami. If we go to its uh, trainings really quickly, and the reason why I uh, said you can literally get any personality you want on this one, it really doesn't make a difference too much, is because Luminami is very good across the board. If we look at its base stats, you can see it is 105 health, which is a lot. And the rest of its stats, which is its, its offensive stats and its defensive stats, are all very, very close to each other. As you can see low, its speed is the only thing that is pretty slow, so again, I wouldn't recommend speeds. But like I said, it depends on what your team needs. If you need a nuller physical attacker, I would recommend going for an attack build. If you want a special attacker, special attack builds. Or if you want a pure tank, then also go for the defenses. But for Luminami, I would recommend always putting 200 into its health. And then the other 200 and then the 101 again it really depends for uh, but like i said i would go health if you want offensive then also go 200 attack or special attack and the remainder 100 either into one of its defenses and that is pretty much it for luminami uh, for that set or you could just also run a full tanky version which is like 200 health then 200 in either of the defenses it depends what your team is lacking if your team is lacking a lot of special tankiness then go for a special tank if your team's lacking a physical wall go for a physical set for defense and they're all 100 into the other defensiveness but that is pretty much it for Lunami. Anyway on to Tetab. Actually it's called Tateb, I call it Tetab but whatever. But anyway also uh, Tetab um, for the personalities I would recommend a positive um, speed or attack. Those are the only two I would really recommend for Tetab. It can be used as a special attacker, but or a mixed set, which is fine. But I wouldn't really recommend running like a, a full-on special attacking one. It's most its best stats are its attack stat. But if we go to its training really quickly, you can see its best two stats are speed and attack. So most of the time, I would recommend 200 in speed, 200 in attack, and then the rem remainder of the hundred. It depends. For me, my tateb that I have that is EV train. This one isn't it. I'm running a, um, I'm going to be running a full-on physical set, but I'm going to have one special attack, but I'm still going to put the rest of the 100 into health to make it a little bit more tankier since its, it's defenses aren't terrible, they're not the best though. Or, if you are running a mix set with physical attacks and special attacks, I would recommend 200 speed, 200 attack, and then 100 into special attack maybe. But that's pretty simple for Tateb, it's one of the easier ones. So anyway, on to... Valkyrie next. Okay, so next up is Valkyrie. So this one again is somewhat slow, but you could potentially get away with speed if you wanted to. It's not as slow as the other two starters that we went over first, but for this one, for the personality, I would either recommend plus special attack. If you want to a tanky Valkyrie, its typing isn't the best, but it's pretty decent as well. You could go for the defenses, or if you want to go for speed, you could do speed. But if we go to the training top points, you can see its stats are pretty good for like tanking if you really wanted to make it a tank but I would prefer like a tanky offensive or a full off offensive so my recommendations would be if I were to go for my Valkyrie my Valkyrie would probably be 200 health 200 special attack if special attack is its highest so I'd rather maximize that and get as much damage as I possibly can get um and the rest of the 100 you could put into speed to make it a little bit quicker to speed specific threats. Or you could go into energy to make sure that you can use more moves without having to wait or rest. That is my like ideal set that I would personally go for. All the steps that you could probably go for is like 200 speed, 200 attack and then 100 in energy or health to make it a little bit tankier. Or again energy to make it so it can, um, have, can use more moves. You could potentially go for a physical set but also... A special attack that is just superior but if you want to run a mix set you can but i wouldn't really recommend it in most situations but again i feel like it's pretty simple it's just special attack a special speed isn't the worst but it isn't the best either it's kind of like in a middle ground so wouldn't normally recommend speed but if you want to run speed to also outspeed specific threats then feel free to do so but that's it for falcon next up is vesperatu Okay, so for Vesperatu, again, it is somewhat simple. I would recommend the personality to be speed, attack, or special attack. The reason why, if we go to its training stats, as you can see, yes, its attack stat is higher than its special attack, but 
If you wanted to run a um, special attacking Vesper Atu, you definitely can. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to run. A lot of its moves are more physical based, but if you wanted to, I'm saying that you just can. But for my recommendations, I would recommend speed and attack. So 200 speed, 200 attack, and then the rest into, again, energy for more attacking, so, so you can use more attacks consistently, or health to make it a little bit tankier. It really depends. Again, you could run a mix set as well and put 200 in speed, 200 in attack, and then 100 into special attack if you want to run a Vesperat with physical and special attacking moves. It really depends. You could potentially run um, a tanky set, so like 200 health and 200 attack, and then the 100 into either speed or its defenses. But uh, as you can see, its physical defense is pretty good. Its special defense isn't the best. Also, Vesperatu's typing being Dark and Spirit really isn't that good right now in the game. It is weak to a lot of the other starters. In fact, I think it's actually weak to five out of seven of them. So I really wouldn't recommend running a buildy Vesperatu unless you're comfortable doing so. Anyway, next up is Himber. Okay, and so for Himber, again, uh, this is actually the one of the tankiest looms in the game, if not the tankiest in the game. So for this one, again, I would recommend either attack or the defenses for personality. It doesn't really matter which defense, um, but wouldn't really recommend speed. Right now, I think it's actually the slowest of the starters as we uh, could go over to his training. You can see speed is very, very slow. Really wouldn't recommend, recommend running speed at all in this team. Although, if, if Trick Room ever becomes a move in this game, having a minus speed personality would actually be beneficial, so it'll actually go first if Trick Room is set up. Also, Trick Room means the slowest Lumion goes first. Anyway, low. For training, I would always recommend 200 in health, no matter what. Then the rest of the 200s, it depends on what you're really going to do. If you want to do a defensive and offensive mix set, I would recommend 200 into health, 200 into attack, if you want to make an attacking one, and then the rest of the 100s, either into de special defense or energy. Its defense stat is really, really high, so you don't really need to put much into it, to be honest. It's super high, and not a lot of things are going to do a lot to, uh, not a lot of physical attacks are going to do a lot to it f physically, but also your special defense is the one that you have to look after. And if you want to go a full tank, I would recommend doing 200 in health, 200 in special defense, and then 100 into the defense to make it even more tankier. That's the setup that I would recommend for him, but and actually myself, I'm going to be running 200 in health, 200 in defense, and 100 in the physical defense. That's the setup that I'm going for. Oh, I got a pretty bad personality. My personality is like plus attack, which isn't really that good for the set that I want. But it's all right because I guess I could run it as like a full out tank, but it just does a little bit more damage than a, a full out tank would usually do. Anyway, next up is Zulong. Okay, and for Zulong, and also really quick before I actually get into Zulong, technically speaking, uh, the PvP community has actually already spoken, um, and it seems that the best Lumis in the game right now is actually Himber and Zulong for PvP wise. But anyway into Zulong. Um, again, that could change whenever more future updates come out and we get more Lumions. Anyway, for Zulong, personality I would recommend is plus speed. Plus speed, I also would probably say is like 9 times out of 10, you probably want plus speed. Or you could go plus special attack or plus attack. I wouldn't really recommend attack though. I'd recommend special attack. It's attack, special attack stat is a lot higher, as we can see here. So also, Zulong right now is the quickest Lumion in the game. But um, again, would definitely recommend um, always running speed on it. So for my recommendations, I would run 200 in speed, 200 in attack, and then 100 into energy, which right now we can't do energy, so also I would always go health for right now. Although, if you do want to run a mix set, that is completely fine. But again, you can see the um, special attack stat is a lot higher than the physical attack stat. So again, it really depends on which one you're going to run. I would recommend... A the special attack stat, but the attack stat isn't like so bad that you can't use it, but I would, most of the time wouldn't recommend using physical attacks as of right now, but that's it for Zulong. 200 speed, 200 special attack, 100 into uh, health or energy for now, or attack if you do want to run a mix set with like some special attacks and some physical attacks as of right now. Next up then is the uh, Umbra and Luxor. Okay, and so on to uh, Umbra. Again, uh, Umbra and Luxor are actually pretty good. I get a lot of um, comments asking me, like, which one's the best of the two, and it really depends. So we're going to start with Umbra. Umbra, for the personality, I would recommend 
again, nine times out of ten, probably attack. Although, if you really wanted to, you could probably get away with speeds. The reason why, if you go to its stats, you can see, compared to L L Luxor, Umbra is slower than, uh, than Luxor. So, pretty much, Luxor is the quicker of the two, but Umbra is the tankier of the two. Although, Umbra is the physical attacker, Luxor is the special attacker. So, it really depends if you want a special or physical attacker on your team. That is the versions I would go for. So for Umbra, obviously, uh, I would recommend 200 in health, 200 in attack, and then 100 into one of the defenses. Or, if you really wanted to, look for, look uh, Umbra speed, I'm talking about the wrong one. Look for, Umbra speed isn't the worst. It could be a lot worse, but it obviously isn't the best. So again, you could potentially run a 200 speed, 200 attack, then 100 into energy or health. Um for a speedy version but again i would probably recommend the tankier version with health attack and then 100 into one of the defenses so yeah but that is umbra onto luxor which i actually just do now because it's pretty much the same just that it's a different evolution but for luxor i would recommend either plus special attack or plus speed for luxor like i said luxor is the special attacking version go to its stats you can see that its defenses are a little bit decreased, but obviously its speed is a lot higher than Luxor's. So again, for Luxor, since it isn't as tanky as a uh, Umbra, I would recommend always going for plus speed, plus special attack, and then the remainder of the hundreds into health or energy. Again, to make it a little bit tankier, or to make sure that you can use more moves consistently, or consecutively, without having to use weight or rests. So that's it for the mice Lumians. On to Cinemoth now. Okay, and for Cinemoth, um, I would recommend for the personality plus speed or plus special attack or range attack. It really doesn't matter as long as you know which one I'm talking about, it's fine. But this attack right here, plus range attack or plus speed, I would always recommend. Um, training, again, as you can see, it is quick and it can hit pretty hard with special attack. Its physical attack is poop, okay? Don't, don't use it. So for this one, I would recommend always um, 200 in speed and 200 in the special attack. The rest of the 100, again, energy or health. It's not that tanky really, except for its special defense. So I would probably recommend energy more than health. But if you want to run health, then sure, go for it. And again, like I said, energy right now, you can't train right now. We have to wait for a couple more updates until we get a loom that actually gives us energy TP. So right now, I guess health would be your last 100. Next up low is Avatross. Okay, on to Fallen Avatross. There technically is two ways that you can run this. Also, it is pretty quick and it can and it's only melee attacker. But I would say as well is that it actually has a hidden ability. I actually have a hidden ability. I'll quickly show you it is right here. Also, I haven't fully evolved it yet, but the hidden ability is called Rev Up. Every turn, it's pretty much speed boost from Pokemon. Every turn it will raise its speed by one stage. So that means we technically have like two sets to run on it. So for Avatross, I would recommend if you have a normal Avatross, which is this one with no hidden ability on it, I would recommend plus speed or plus attack. Those are really the only two. If you are running a hidden ability one, I would recommend plus attack. Anyway, then onto its training. So you can see it's got some okay bulk to it, not the best, but it's not the worst. Also, it is very quick and its attack style is pretty good. So for this one, again, if you have a normal Avatross, I would recommend 200 speed, 200 attack, and the rest of the 100, again, into either energy or health. You can see a, see a pattern. A lot of Lumians, if they're like quick and attack cards, the rest of the 100 isn't really that important. So either health to make it a little bit tankier or energy to make it so you can use more moves consistently. But for a normal one, 200 speed, 200 attack, then 100 into health or energy. For a hidden ability one, I would recommend health 200, attack 200, and the hun other 100, you can pretty much stick wherever you want it. I will, for me, my set that I'm going for is 200 health, 200 attack, and then 100 into speed. It really doesn't need the speed though, so you can stick into energy or the defenses to make it a little bit more bulky if you wanted to. But the reason why I put mine to speed is because if you use dodge, which also is protecting the game, then also your speed goes up. With 100 into speed, you're going to outspeed everything in the game after one dodge, which is pretty nuts. So that is pretty much it for Avatross. Next up is Pyder. 
okay, well, actually, Spite does Evolution Swalder, but either way. Anyway, for Swalder, again, I would recommend mostly to use plus attack on it for the personality. Again, it's not the fastest in the game, but you might be able to run away, get away with plus speed if you really wanted to. For, as you can see, it stats. Its speed is very slow, so again, unless there is a speed increasing item or something, I really wouldn't recommend um, speed. Anyway, though, uh, again, I would recommend you to not really use Swalder. Swalder has the same like base stat total as the other bugs, are very close, if not if not the same. But its stats-wise isn't as good as the other bugs, really. The reason why is because it's not that quick, and it's got a little bit of bulk, but it's not that tanky either. As you can see, its best stat is actually its attack stat, so always I would recommend using 200 attack and then 200 in health, and then the rest of the hundreds, I would probably say energy or the defenses to try and make it a little bit more bulky. But also, it's not really going to help too much. Again, you could run 200 speeds, attack, and then health for the hundreds, but again, it's not really that quick, and unless it actually has a... Um, a speed boosting item i really wouldn't recommend speed it is pretty slow and it's not even with fully invested in speeds it's not really going to outspeed many things that it wouldn't already so with that being said let's move on to florence okay and so for florence then this is purely a tanky so for the personality i would recommend plus defense or plus special defense you could potentially get away with plus special attack if you wanted it to do a little bit more damage but i would recommend most of the defenses that's really, it's not that quick and it's not really good attacking offensively. So as we look at its stats, as you can see, its attack is poop. Again, I wouldn't recommend using it. Um, and its speed is poop. Also wouldn't recommend using it. I think actually Florent is the slowest in the game right now. Might be wrong about that though. But it's very close if not. But like I said, for uh, Florent, it's very good tanky. The only thing that's really bad with Florent is its typing. It's got a great stats tankiness, uh, tanking wise, but it's... It's uh, typings are really, really bad. It's weak to a lot of things, which means it's not really that good in general. But if you want to use a Florent, I would recommend 200 in the health, and then you can do either 200 in defense and 100 in defense, or 200 in special defense and 100 in defense, or 200 de in defense and then 100 in special defense, or even split it on the middle, do 150 in both of the defenses. You could potentially get with like putting more into energy, also we can use more moves, it does get a lot of status moves, or special attacks so it can do a little bit more damage, but again, wouldn't really recommend it, I would just go full out, just making this thing a wall and a tank, but again, because of its typing, I don't really see too much, I think, I feel like people will try to use it, but I feel like they will slowly, or actually pretty quickly learn that it's actually not that great, at least as of right now, since we're limited to like what, like, 40 something Lumians, like 43, 44 Lumians, so until we get more Lumians in the game, I don't think it's still been getting used that much until also there's more water types in the game and more stuff that it's actually pretty good against. So that's it for Florence. Next is Terrafly. Okay, and so for Terrafly then, for the personality, again, I would rep I would personally um, say to use a plus attack or plus speeds. And that's really it, really. I wouldn't really try any of the defenses or special attack. Look at this stats. It's pretty much, again, if you look at like Umbra and Luxor, Umbra was a slower but tankier version. Pretty much it's the same thing for Terrafly and Cinemoth. Cinemoth is quicker than Terrafly and is a special attacker. Terrafly is tankier than Cinemoth but is a physical attacker and it's a little bit slower. So for this one, again, you could potentially go for 200 health. 200 attack and then again 100 in energy to use more moves all the defenses probably special defense if anything to try and make it a little bit more tankier than that because that's not a great stat for example its defense is actually pretty good though although because of, again it's typing bug type is not that good right now again we have to wait until more lumens come in and bug is actually going to be pre might be pretty good but it's just weak to a lot of things as well right now. So tanky bug types right now aren't the best unless it gets an amazing secondary typing, I guess. But that I'm actually going to run on my Terrafly. I actually have a hidden ability to Terrafly. Um, I'm going to run 200 in attack, 200 in speed, and 100 into health just to get a little bit more bulk. So it might be able to live like one hit maybe or whatever. But as the set that I would run for Terrafly. Next up is Ragoon. 
Okay, plus Ragoon is fairly similar to um, Terrafly. I would recommend either plus attack or plus speed. The reason why, go to its stats. Again, special attack isn't that great. Also, special defense also isn't that great. Its speed isn't the best. Also, it has dropped a little bit since its uh, first form, but it has also got um, a little bit more tanky -er since its first form. Um, actually, I don't think I have Kleptag. Actually, I do have a Kleptag. I have it in my shiny box. If you look at Kleptag stat, I will bring actually bring this one into it. But um, Kleptag is actually pretty quick, but you can see its stats, although then its speed is very, very weak. So Kleptag might have a little bit of a usability, but I don't really see too many people using it at least. But go back to Ragoon. I would recommend attack or speed for the personality. Training, I would recommend 200 in health, 200 in attack, and the rest of the 100, I would recommend either speed to make it a little bit quicker, or special defense if you're going for like a tankier version, because also the special defense is pretty pathetic, and I think it definitely needs a bit of a boost. Um, other than that set, you could always run the speed version, which also is 200 speed, 200 attack, and the rest of the 100, again, energy or health to uh, make it a little bit tankier, or use more moves consistently. So anyway, next up is uh, Borok? Yeah, Borok. I always forget the thing names. I always confuse Babor and Borok. Um, but anyway, for this one, Again, uh, because of its stats, it's not that quick, but again, I would either recommend a full tanky version or, like, I guess you could go, like, offensive as well. So, I'd recommend plus attack, plus speeds, or, if, again, if you want a tanky version, one of the defenses. So, again, look at the stats. You can see it has a very, very good attack and defensive combo. So, again, kind of like Kimber, but a little bit not as, but not as good. Also, this is a pure earth type rather than an ice surf type so again it has its down it has its downsides it has its good sides so again if you want a full tanky version i would recommend 200 health 200 defense 200 oh, then 100 into the defense no wait i'm saying that again 200 health 200 special defense then 100 defense very similar to um snow cubs final form himber or you could go 200 at health 200 attack and then 100 into speed to make it a little bit quicker to our speed specific things or the 100 into special defense because it kind of needs it if you want to go for a tanky version again low um again it is slow it is a bit quicker than him low so if you really wanted to you could run 200 speed 200 attack and then 100 in health or energy again probably 100 in health i would recommend over energy for this one um, the earth typing could be really really good once we actually get like earthquake for example But the reason why a hyper offensive um, Isn't that bad for ball rocks is actually because its ability is boasts also I should mention as well the hidden ability I'll mention that in a minute though, but boasts when Barok joins the battle its attack that either goes up or down if Barbar's or Barok's attack that is higher than the opponent's its attack that goes up if the attack stat is lower than the opponent, it actually goes down. Right now, Borak has 110 attack stat, and so far we've gone through all the Lumions. The only things that actually has higher than Borax is um, Tatab. So never send the spring out against Tatab, it'll always decrease its uh, physical attack. But I'm pretty sure the only other thing that actually shares its attack stat is, um, is this one right here, Vesperatu. Other than that, I think everything has lower attack stat or is very close if not i think like also if is 100 uh soldier is 90 so borax can definitely make use of uh, its ability quite a lot right now also in the future it might be even worse um because more things might have better attacks or it could be even better because also more usable lumines might be more special attackiness but again hyper offensive isn't really like a bad idea especially if it gets the attack increase or the hidden ability it's actually um, resilience. It's actually fairly sim similar to stamina from Pokemon. Every time Borox gets hit, its defense goes up, which also would go very nicely with 200 health, 200 special defense, and I guess you could put the rest of the 100 into attack since your defense is already getting increased or energy to use more moves. So that's up to you, though. Next up, Len, I guess is Gekko. Okay, so Len, for Gekko. Really don't know why people are asking me why to go do Gekko. I, I know Gekko is amazing. It looks so amazing, but right now, it's not that great. It's typing. Florent wish it had this typing. This is one of the best dual typings in the game right now. 
along with Zulong. Zulong is actually really, really good. Electric, Ancient is very good. But Electric and Light, I think, in my opinion, I think is maybe a little bit better. For Personality, for Get Cloak, we're not talking about it's, a bit, it's Evolution. We don't have access to that now. For Get Cloak, plus Special Attack or plus Speeds. For its uh, stats, I don't really know what people are asking me. You can you just take a, to, a look at its stats. You would always go for 200 speeds, 200 special attack, and the rest of the hundreds, either energy or health. It really can't use any other things you really like. Its defenses are very low, so it can't go tanky. Its attack is really low. It's, even its special attack is pretty low, so honestly, I wouldn't recommend using Get Club, but if you really want to, I would just go speed and special attack, but I would rather you wait for the evolution to come out first. But again, Get Close typing wise is amazing, it's tankiness though isn't that amazing to be honest, so I wouldn't really recommend using it as a tank. Anyway, last but not least is Duskits. Okay then, so for Duskits personality, I would mostly recommend plus speeds. You could also go for plus special attack, and yes, you can as well go for plus attack. Wouldn't really recommend plus attack as of right now though. Anyway, if we go into its uh, training, we can see it can pull off a tanky set if it wants to, but I think its typing isn't that great. I'm think, pretty sure it's actually super, like it's four times weak to Ghost, or in this game, Spirit. Wouldn't really make a, recommend a tanky type. I would recommend always going for 200 in speed, as you can see that I've done. 200 in special attack, again what I've done. The rest of the hundreds can go into free stats. Health, again, to make it a little bit tankier, if you wanted to just, like, maybe survive one more hit. Energy actually has the highest energy in the game right now to make it be able to use more moves because it also is a legendary. A lot of its moves are super expensive. Or attack if you want to mix the attacker. It, I'm pretty sure it only gets like two good physical moves right now and the, and one of them is like its last level up move I think at level 37. Um, we don't, wouldn't recommend running attack right now but if you want to run a mix attacker set that's fine in my opinion. Like, if you want to run 200 in speed, then special attack, and then 100 into the attack. I can see that definitely working out, but again, I wouldn't recommend it right now until we get more physical attack moves for Duskit in the future. But that's pretty much all of the Lumians in the game. Again, I actually have planned out to do a video talking about every hidden ability in the game, um, and stuff like that. Also, the, every single Lumians movesets, what movesets would you, should you run. So this video was just talking about the stats and what to train them. Again, I will go into detail in future videos on like movesets, their hidden abilities, and so on in the future. Anyway, Lou, I'll see you guys next time.